Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Jelly Ellie Hearts. I've started off this with Nail Teaks Formula 2 as my base coat, and then I've applied two coats of Peelies and a limited time simple edition called Jelly Ellie from Simple Colors and Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'll be using this You Are Beautiful 14 plate today, I'm trying to keep the glare <laughs> off and the Beauty Big Bang uh, Metal Pink Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And today I'll be using MDU number 67 Bones. I have a bunch of these minis and a whole bunch of different colors and I don't grab for them often because they stink. <laughs> there we go. We're just going to pull this image up. And this one's kind of like lining both sides but there's leaving an open space in the center of the nail. and. I was kind of going for something like that, but I'm going to do something with that open space here in a little bit. Um, like I said, I don't use my MDU polishes. Now, they are wicked pigmented. They clean up great with tape. They're really great polishes if you can get past the smell. Um, they also have issues with separating really bad, um, and they're, you know, with having the minis, they're a little tricky to get shook up really well. Um, Somebody taught me a little trick about using a, the head to a little mini stamper or running it through my Eisen Pro Shaker. You just kind of put the nail polish down into that, you know, that little stamper holder and it makes it big enough to where it'll hold with the little hook and you can shake it up really good with that. And I'm just applying the same image on all of my nails and I am wearing this mini on both hands. I know, surprise, surprise. And I'm going to be using this Beauty Big Bang Gold Stampin' Polish and my little rectangular clear stamper. I'm going to pull this little like double heart image up, or swirly heart image up, and I'm going to put that in the center of that open space on the other stamping. I just needed, I don't know, I needed like two tones and, you know, something, you know, something. I just wanted to do something different this time. A little hard to see on camera. I will one day get this figured out with the angle and the lighting and everything. But for today, this is what we got. I am using a little plate, piece of tape to pull up that where it's picking up the You Are Beautiful logo. You can see I'm just lining that up and kind of putting it in the center of that open space. And I really did like this. I, I you know, really wanted to do something kind of easy and light, and this was it. Okay, so I've been asked by a couple of my friends on YouTube and on Instagram, what's up with the no-buy? Um, I'm not on a no-buy anymore. I've just decided that's just not for me. I am on a low-buy. I am going to try to be quite picky about what I buy, you know, what I purchase. Um, I, there might be a lot more indie purchasing because I'm looking for unique polishes. Um, I will grab some mainstream stuff if I see that it's relevant and something I need to share, uh, like I did with the Color Club thermals that, you know, look, a lot of them were dupes. Um, if I find something like that that's interesting and I want to share, I will go ahead and grab those. Um, I do know that there is a collection coming up that I really do want, so, um, you know, let me know if y'all are going to want to see, you know, a haul video on that. I was just trying to get away from doing haul videos. So here we go. I'm going to go in. I've done the tape cleanup and the stamping, and we're all ready to do, you know, the final steps, and I am going in with a new cleanup brush. I will get to that here in a minute. Um, so far, it seems to be doing okay. Um, like a, a lot of these brushes, you know, it takes a minute to get used to them, and that's why I love my other one so much. But, I, you know, I'm going to give this one a go, and this one seems to be doing all right. Um, it's not as thin as my other one, but, you know. And also, I've got to see how well it's going to hold up to the acetone because I have used brushes like this and come back, you know, a couple of days later and grabbed it and it just be ate up, you know, it just melts the bristles. So, we'll see how this one goes. 
So this is the Sonia Kushak Pointed Eyeliner Brush. This was a newer looking brush and it came with a little cap and it's number 240. I found it at Target. I'm going to top this one off with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and seal this stamping in. And I actually am starting to finally get used to the long wand on this brush and I'm not flooding my cuticles near as bad. So yay, I'm getting past the learning curve. And here is my final mani. I hope you liked it. Um, here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.